you will fuck this again. Goddamn. Jerk lord. And all these goddamn events and Twitter things because I had to friggin' mention Fake Life. Donate to Fake Life, he's doing charity bullshit. And also, like, watch him too, I guess, if you don't want to look at me. Let's get fucked up by a tiger. It is for their kids. Let me, let me let me see if it works. Let me type the thing in. Boom! Fucking did it. And that should hopefully go to his thing. Hell yeah, it did. Boom. Fucking worked. The only child here, though, let's be honest, is me. Okay, and then... We've got to do some bullshit with Coda, though. Where is he? Where's the fucker on his surfboard? Yeah, like, I think we might need 300... Uh, melee. To make the bullshit happen, and we've got, like, two stages. To max out his attack, and do the thing, and get his stats, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to get to do the money grinding exploit bullshit, but we will have a really strong compatible Kaiser. I also have a correction to make. Uh, oh, what is that? Is the end, or it's finished, or it's over. I've also got hella translations of what Kai says when he uh, does some attacks, because he's good as hell. And Michiru, who we'll get in a couple of stages too, and uh, the various stupid sword moves the idiots do. Everybody's good though. I'm gonna do this, and then if he doesn't get formed, then I'll be mad but it's fine. I'll put him in this squad, but he should supposedly do it. Like it says here, uh, the Grunga Senshiki deploy is fully formed with whatever subpilot you had in the lower part during the intermission, so I'm hoping if he's on his own it'll happen.
but who's ready for some bullshit where we're gonna get fucked up by a tiger? Oh wow, we're gonna have a good time now. Oh, and also, uh, Foxhair Dude is apparently called Ho. Okay, eliminate all Yokojin. So we gotta kill all the shitty dudes and not attack the bosses. And we have to have Bullet talk to the tiger to get a twisted headband. Alright, alright. How do you train? Welcome to hell. Let's uh, get going. We're gonna get fucked up by a tiger. Okay, here's uh, Ibis uh, telling the Fina she's like, I shouldn't have gone on like a friggin' joyride around the tour of the. the uh, the sea with uh, Irui, but we didn't get uh, didn't get Irui off the ship, and it's my fault. And it's not like we can drop her off at Mexico at this point, anyway. And the thing is, like, yeah, well, the girl wants to stay with you anyway, so special permission, she can stay. In the cafeteria, everyone's like, wow, Irui's staying, and uh, Tsuku is like, hell yeah, a cute girl on board. And he's like, not like that though. And then Despen is, it's like, oh yeah, Despen is, is like around that girl's age, right? He's like, well, not like actually, I mean, she's an artificial, like, she's an artificial human, like, being, right? She was made, so she's a similar sort of age in that way. And, uh, but not really the same thing. Uh, Coda, uh, says maybe we should search, like, in our supercomputer databases for her name and see if we can figure out who she is. And she goes, oh, you did it! Don't know who the fuck it she is, no results! Uh, I just then gets a little sad, thinking like, what if her family's all fucking dead? Like, well, I'll look after her. I'll help her out. If worse comes to worse, I'll be her new family. And then Bullet comes in and he's like, yo, we got a mission briefing. Let's get our shit on the road. <laughs> My dying looks like a family deserves to be dead. You don't know nothing about this girl, except she sucks though, she's, she is awful. <laughs> and I saw uh, Chen Gong's thing of uh, the fight, like one of the later stages, and it's just Ibis internal screaming. Uh, okay, we're about to reach the North Pole, and uh, we're gonna go the long way to the North Pole, but I'm like, is there a long way to the North Pole? Other than going all the way around the fucking Earth. <laughs> but sure. But So they uh, avoid the Earth Federation. We're going to go around the pole to, and uh, just do some recon to see whether we need to go in and help or not. So maybe we won't even do anything. Uh, Josh is like, wait, we, we might go and not do anything? And he's like, yeah. Um... But Lafina, like, specifically orders him because Lafina, while she doesn't know that Ratzel here on the left is Elzum, uh, is really good at her job. She's like, no, like, don't go off on your own, alright? We need to, be, like, we've got an objective and it's to obtain information on the September and the dimensional barriers. If we run into the Earth Federation or the Gaia Sabres, we're leaving right away. Excellent sees that uh, Josh is worried. And he says, uh, if you see a chance to go in, then it'll work out. Don't worry, one way or another. And then she says, oh, we got uh, a lot of people who uh, bet on long odds anyway. I mean, Kyosuke, Katina, Zenga, all those dudes do is uh, go, no, I'm good. We, c we can do this, even if it is total bullshit. And this is uh, scenario 35, the jet black tiger and the frozen white blade. Or the Alabaster Blade. So, you, like, you can do Obsidian Tiger and Alabaster Blade, if you want to be cool. Anyway, we're at the North Pole. Here we are. We made it. 
the fiend is like, wow, it's uh, really bright here, even though it's night. And then Sean's like, well, maybe uh, that's part of Ruiner's plan, but also that's sort of how the poles work. Here's uh, Taiho and uh, Ho. And uh, they're watching. Uh, Ho is worried that the Shrine Maiden might be on board the Hiryu Kai. And the uh, Ipesh is like, ah, don't worry, we'll just take her back along with the Blue Dragon. Don't worry about it. It'll all work out. And they're like, okay, well, let's just wait and see. And uh, make our move in a bit. And then. Yokijin. Goddamn Yokijin. And Lahina said, like, well, El Chevalier, everybody, get the fuck out. Okay, good. But he did deploy full. So we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew. We all deploy, and Katina's like, Ugh! Ugh! These guys are gross as hell! And Russell's... Like, oh, yeah, I forgot you're not good with fishy things. I hate them! They're gross! Kuda's like, damn! Is there something out there that actually scares Katina? And Kuda's like, oi, oi. Oi, oi. Let's not go so far to say that I'm scared, alright? And excellent. uh... Then says, uh... Katina's weakness for fish is one of her few charming points. And Kuda's like, I'm charming as fuck! Fuck you, asshole! And well, it's like, please. Uh, ignoring him, he's like, Kasua, I got a bad feeling about this. And she's like, yeah, same, but I don't like this at all. Okay, yeah, and Lafina said uh, no to the El Chevalier and the Blanche Nage because we need them for the next operation, apparently. Like, specifically said, yo. Yeah, we've. Mm, I don't know if I'd say Lovecraftian, but they're definitely no good. We got weird hamsters. Chicken bags, hedgehogs, uh, unicycle eggplants, uh. It's not even any fucking fish here, Katina. You stupid idiot. Jesus Christ. Everyone on the ground, he doesn't need to fly. Go. Shoot the platform. Got it. Hamster fucking died. It's dead. Flush it down the toilet or whatever it is you do with hamsters you don't want anymore. Oh wow, okay. Uh, you know what? I didn't expect uh, Leona to actually fucking murder them like that. And, uh... This move here is the the vampire laser, and it does the energy drain. Like, he drains energy from the enemies and gives it to himself, which is pretty fucking good, when you think about it. Oh, and... I just can't do shit, apparently. Oh, what if she transformed? 
something. Could she fucking join in? Like a mature fucking person? Hi there, Revamunga. How you doing? How you doing, Revamunga? GG Cannon, I miss your naughty sports enough to have a move called the GG Cannon. But at least you can kill a hedgehog with it. <laughs> Tiny life is a vampire laser, but how would light make any travel back along itself when it's not even a wave or a particle? Ah, have you heard of photons? Makes you think. Uh, Zenga, when he does that attack, it's the uh, Zankanto. Uh, Dai Gakai? Or Dai Sharin, which is uh, like ship cleaving sword, great wheel, and then he just makes it do a big wheel, right? So. It did start a few minutes ago, Diatomic Chimera. I have no idea how few minutes ago, but not very long, you haven't missed uh, nothing. Then got actually fucking invincible to uh, these awful things. Better off using her accelerate actually. And the ship uh, needs to take no damage while we defeat all of the bad dudes. So we'll just sit it here. You fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ, thanks, Helen. Letting everybody down again, as use, as use. It does puke blood. These things are awful. Oh, it's doing the unicycle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whiffed it. My work cut out for me getting those guys before they get to the ship. Yeah, so the chicken bag's like three chicken corpses tied together, and then they vomit blood on you. And also they can go huge and teabag you, it's awful. Fighter beam! Set! Oh! 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 Plus 20% damage on counter attacks, pretty fucking good it turns out!
Okay, it should do the ball bag. The ball bag. Chickens don't have balls, but... Yeah, here we go. Oh, it tried, at least. And then it's the goddamn hedgehogs. They also have another move where they turn into a wheel and roll at you and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they're like building size and then they miss is the general experience. Hedgehogs, ball bag hamsters, it's awful, all around. Yes, we will double PP for sure, and double that, because why fucking not, right? You're letting everybody down right now. And I mean everybody. <laughs> I don't care what the hell you are, but, uh, what the heck are ya? <laughs> this is good. Good as hell. Okay, we beat him up. Uh, okay, Taiho and Ho, and then like, hmm, let's send them out. But it's like, oh, wait, uh, huh, uh, wait, something's happening. And it's uh, Kooki, which is his tiger, but the colors are inverted. Nega Tiger. It's and then Kukuru's here. She's gonna put some peas on us. And uh, Kukuru's like, ah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So Kukuru's like, uh, we're trying to save uh, the world of hu uh, trying to save uh, the world of humans is a sin. And we're like, uh, saving the world's good, actually. And then she says that Koki has returned to its rightful form and uh, to the place it needs to be. Uh, like she's talking about like on what side it's on. And then Kasua is like, no, because it's changed colour, that's proof that you're forcing it to do it. It's, I mean, it's called the White Tiger. I mean, it's not in its true form if it's not white, right? And then Eye Patch Dude Taiho is like, oh, ah, she's good. <laughs> Pretty smart. And then uh, Bullet says, "If there's a uh, Bullet goes, is if there's someone uh, uh, higher up giving out commands, then uh, Koki and Ryoki, the dragon, would obey them and not try and fight them." And then I bet she's like, "Oh, the boys not too bad either." And then Kukuru uh, just very slowly says, uh, "All Chokijin belong to her master." And that uh, Seiryu and Byako uh, foolishly disobeyed them. And Zengri is like, uh, I think you're talking shit, actually, lady. And then uh, Kukuru, uh, 
I think Zynga is like, uh, you're talking shit, but also like, it's, it's the world of humans, you live in the world of humans, so... And she's like, oh, actually, I'm not human. At least, not right now. And Zengo internally just goes, uh, uh what? But, because he's cool, he's not going to say it out loud and look like an idiot. Uh, and then uh, she says that the other Chokijin of the four gods obey her master, and that the, the discoloration of the tiger is our fault. And then Bullet's like, no, because I believe in Ryoki and uh, Koki, and we're going to get it back. And the uh, fighter roar then, Kodo is like, I really wish that I had the robot and wasn't just a dude on a surfboard fighting uh, like a 60 foot tall tiger. But there you go. Uh, Kikuru orders uh, the tiger to capture the dragon, and uh, while she's gonna fire on the Hiryu Kai. There you go. <laughs> and Tom was like, don't worry, worry. We're going to be fine. And then uh, Zengar tells everybody to protect the Hiryu Kai. And i got to get Bullet fucking over here. And he's got to talk to the tiger. He's got to talk to the tiger, okay? He's got to talk to the fucking tiger. Okay, these guys are good. They can do their stupid bullshit. Kill both of these things. And I will do that just in case Kukuru tries to do anything fucking sneaky. Just do the lasers. It's got more ammo. This is about what I expected. One kill each. Actually gonna do the flying on these one. Ooh. I wish we could go like one square further, but that'll do. Okay, and then at least these guys will defend them like twice. So hopefully you won't take any damage. I've just got to keep an eye on if they attack Katina that the ship doesn't try and defend and get hurt because that would be you know kind of productive. One of the things Ratzel says uh, for the stack is that Pierce will stand before us. But this time he's like specifically telling the Okujin to piss off because they're awful and weird. Ratzel's so fucking good though. Where does he even get off? Hopefully we'll actually get to see a hamster attack. Final technique.
Guess who, if it being all about saving the world, you've just fucked up Antarctica a lot. The majestic mountains of Antarctica. With the cry of a baby. Oh, luckily, Kasu is invincible to hamsters. Just use the shitty gun. Yeah, just use your shitty little guns. Don't worry about it. Gilliam is a Power Ranger from another dimension, by the way, and he's really fucked up. Okay, so just this, like, one bullshit hamster left then. Monster or demon? I don't care. Shoot some goddamn yo yo's. And now these guys are going to counter the hamster and just. Talk oh no, we didn't. Good. Oh, it's sniffing, it's sniffing! Oh, it's coming, it's coming! Oh, it's gonna get ya! Who knows the entire life? I think they might be demons. But they might not be. And I think the distinction's actually important because of Chinese mythology and folklore and bullshit. Yeah, right, Monk, like it just sort of sneaks up and then goes, I'm gonna get ya. Nyap. 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 Okay, we got the SR point, good. So now it can get shot. Oh, why are you attacking me, fucker? <laughs> What's wrong, Koki? Don't you recognize us? You're supposed to protect humans, and uh, Koki's gonna fuck us up. Oh no, he's just gonna breathe lasers, which we're invincible to. Never mind. Do a shitty attack. Magarga is her uh, worst name, and the animations for all of it are really good. It'd be better if it could ever hit them. We get Kukuru on the the super final Mega Mondo route, which is good because it's really good. Okay, let's uh, talk to the tiger. Hey, Koki, it's me, Bullet. You know, the guy you like. Yo, oh, come on, protect humanity and stuff. It's dead. Uh, but Bullet is like, don't you remember what uh, you said when you first met me in Kasua? And. Uh, it's like, nah, he doesn't say shit. And then Kasu has a uh, second line, apparently. After Bullets tried to talk to it. Why would you listen to... Bullet? Frickin' chokajin asshole cat? It's because it's a cat, right? Oh, 
You can't tell cats anything. He's only doing that one shitty move. Like, it's a bad move, too. But does he have any items, actually? No, he doesn't have any items, so I don't think we get any reward for killing him. And what about her? No, so I don't think we get any reward for killing either of them. Once one of the bosses retreats, is defeated, or remaining will flee. Okay, okay. Let's go, idiots. Fuck up a tiger. Go, Koda! Okay, Ghost Grandpa, Wizard. Just punch the hole in that goddamn tiger. That ain't bad, right? The Magaga is super good as well. He does loads of sick gymnastics moves and throws peas at you. <laughs> Finishing move, Hurricane Typhoon. It's your thing, buddy. You must only be doing its shittiest attack because uh, it's the first time we fought it. Okay, so who's got good support things here? Probably best to do it. This one, this one. Box on rifle will be pretty good. My tiny life says is a boring non-giant robot to me. Firing laser from out seems pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, if you haven't seen the other things it can do. I'll give this one everything I've got. Oh, the skirt's off. Well, at least she makes the grave nice. I mean, she murders us. Hi! Let's try a rampage! Ugstung launcher. No, howling launcher, sorry.
now. Excel in the owns. Yeah, then uh, we switch. So she at least does more damage. Pretty good. Damn bullets. Oh, time to plug the thing in too. Okay. Oh, it's the P. There she mentioned Leona by name because they go all out on the lines in the OG games, but there she's like uh, uh, combination with Leona. Let's give it a go. Hey, the extra five is probably more like let's not let her down. Gilliam there is like I'll show you the true heart of the Gespenst. What's Joshua fucking doing now? Okay, Joshua's eyes are gone funny again. He's like, oh, I feel like there's someone else inside me. Something cold and dark. And then he mentioned the Sympathia uh, system's synchro gauge is going crazy. And he was like, what is it? Uh, 
Bro. Anarchy, she says specifically. And it's like, Rim, what's your synchro gauge at? Nothing's fine, not showing anything abnormal. Alarm's going off, incoming, it's Ruiner! It's Glacies. Uh. Uh, it's the lady again! Buh! Okay, and uh, Joshua's like, Glacies, uh, is he, is he like Glacies? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, good, uh, she, uh, El Chevalier requesting to launch. And, uh, Yoon is like, Captain, uh, Joshua is requesting to launch, and Luffy's like, uh, uh. Uh, Sean goes, just fucking let him out, because then maybe we'll learn some more information about what's going on. He's like, alright, permission granted, out you go, El Chevalier. Uh, Josh goes out, and then uh, Glacies and Josh start doing stupid brain thinking at each other, and they hear each other. And Glacies is like, I've got to destroy this awful human. And uh, she mentions that uh, his emotions uh, consist of... Uh, let's see if there's a better translation for that, because it's anger and something. Okay, well, there isn't... Uh Okay, confusion. Confusion. Why not just write that, dude? Uh, she, yeah, she notes that his uh, emotions uh, consist of uh, confusion and anger. And then she's like, why do I understand that? Oh, well, whatever. It's no big deal. And Joshua is like, answer my question about what the hell you're doing. But out loud. And everyone's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, you fucking yell, dude. And, uh and do anything, and then he internally is like, it feels like she's sealed her heart away. Dang. And then uh, the Okajin are like, we gotta get out, because these dudes are a bunch of party poopers. Uh, everybody leave. Corky! No! It's like, don't worry, bullet. We'll get him next time. You're like, we gotta fuck that lady up, and she's like, ah, your resistance only makes uh, my expectations for your destruction even higher. Because uh, she's a jerk, mostly. Does she have any items? Oh, I gotta fucking scan him. Give me the boat. Give me the fucking boat. I wanna scan Glacies. No. Uh, like, Glacies? Uh, it, us it uses the K sound. She's a Guraki, right? Gurakisu. But she's ice, right? And it's a glacier, not a glacier. But it also does make uh, Ignis's nickname of Raki, which is lucky, or like it's lucky. And it's Raki, but it's lucky. Uh, but it makes it not work. But uh, Greek is. Uh, but it's Greek or Latin. Whatever one it is, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit, if you ask me. That's uh, my expert opinion. Mm, you know what? He does need something a little bit spicier. Uh, 
it's Zenkanto Rai uh, Raikogiri, which is a lightning cut. So, uh, ship cleaving sword, a lightning cut, or slash, slice, however you want to do it. Damn, Hugo, don't get the strings tangled up. I think he has the same problem that we have with cables in the real world. Oh, they get back and they're just all in a fucking knot. Now I gotta just, uh... Run. Fast. No time limit, we got the SR point. Oh, real mature standing next to him? Hey, you fucking get off, buddy. That's expensive, but it's really fucking cool move. We'll do it. We'll do that move later. So everybody else can see the, the cool move where Axel shows off how good he is at everything. He's a billionaire. He's handsome, he's from space. He used to own a horse. His wife's dead? <laughs> what do you need? to bring despair. Die! not going to do the all attack because uh, Zengar can't help and he does uh, a lot more damage than Kyosuke does. Oh, they're bunkers, buddy. Yeah, do the... Uh, you're just... Not gonna do anything, Zenga, it's fine. Just don't even waste the three energy.
These two should kill it, because I'm pretty sure Kosuke kills it anyway. Oh yeah, real fucking mature lady. Attack the tiny dude that sucks. Do it. His rats was a good move. Melioresse. Whoops! Missed it! Shit, so he threw that shit before he came in the room! And then he caught the cape because he's good. Will be destroyed, uh, all will despair. And now he supports himself because he's good. And then uh, we'll stand like here. Yeah, that's a good one. True brothers. Soon we'll be out back, we're in the front, and then she'll have a good time. Get him, boat. Yeah, these dudes are going to do a good thing, but uh, we got other fish to fry first. Pandora. Oh, can't shoot anybody of consequence that I want to actually attack just yet.
and then Ivis fucked it, probably. You know how Ivis is. them still it's weird anyway let's uh let's do oh yeah make these guys get to go again leave any of the others have items really I sh probably should put them there for the good times but this this is fine too Here we go. Tiny life. The tornado blade. True man spirit, blah blah blah. Ship cleaving blade. One warrior worth a thousand. Icky dozen. We we'll get the dynamic kill where they just hang out on a rock in space and pose, but they can't all be winners. Do it from two squares away? They can, good. Refill uh, Ratzel. So we didn't need the North Pole for anything, right? It's only full of monsters and garbage. The South Pole's where all the cool research centers are at. Slasher. Oh my 
Oh yeah, real fucking mature. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, the uh, the best we can we can't get a good maximum break. No. Because the only maximum break we can get is with her. Uh, actually, that means no. We can. We can get a good maximum break. I also want to check that everybody. Okay, yeah, like everybody's got hella will gain, so finally the will gain problem has solved itself. Well, these two deployed like for the end of the stage, right? So that's uh, okay. Okay, uh. These two going fast. Get rid of you. Vacuum in you. You come stand here. You two. Uh, actually, you do that. And you do that and that just to be certain. You do that. Do you have any? Good, we do. The spinners, thank you. Yoon, thank you. Maximum break. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's uh, save before we do it, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get the bop. I'd be surprised if we didn't get the bop. Uh, maximum break is a special type of attack where you do like an opening barrage and then everybody uh, in two twins do all of their call attacks and they don't need to, um, uh, it's good as hell but only certain people can initiate it by being leaders and everybody needs a certain amount of uh, willpower which unlocks your greater moves okay so these guys go there we do the big move maximum break yep check everybody's bullshit uh, yep Tatsumaki Zankanto the big thing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna swap these two rounds so she can at least be in the front. That's a Zencanto. Rampage Ghost. Her big move. Should do it. Should do it. Hi, hi! How about this? Fucking excellent. But yeah, with maximum breaks, you can get like straight up actual, literal five minute attack animations going to kill bosses, and it's good as hell. Yeah, Zenga's like, uh, with a thunderous roar. Dizengar crosses the battlefield.
sets the final technique. Not any uh, he sets so like killing blow. Okay, these guys didn't get the kill, but Excellent definitely is, so we'll get to see the Rampage Ghost thing. Zenga is a dude who's super obsessed with samurai movies, so he became one in real life just by watching them. He's a true honorable warrior. He's also like gutsy that he's really good at just murdering people. And in this game, it's the complete opposite of what it is in the other games, where he's on the ground and she's in the air. And then you're <laughs> just like, no, you know what? You may be the air support, but I'm flying today. Attack. Black. Got him. Yeah, that's uh, what I wanted out of that. She's like, oh, what the? But this is no good. Uh, and then uh, she says that uh, her robot, the Fabularis's abilities appear to be going down when that human is around. And it's even worse than the last time. Umbra then sends a message and says uh, it's dangerous for Glacius to face the humans alone. And uh, Umbra says there's another human force trying to break through. And uh, we need Glacius to help defend it. So Glacius is like, okay, I'm, I'm coming. Bye, y'all. Wait, wait, well, we did it. She left. Another essay out. What do we do now? Okay, so did we just charge in after him? Uh, Sean says that we probably wouldn't meet the Earth Federation people to charge through because we're on the opposite side of the battle to them. But uh, worst case scenario, the entire thing could become a four-way fight if you add in the Yokogen. And the Phoenix says, you know what? I like them odds. We're going in. Yeah, and there's the headband. The Hachimaki. Okay, where's Koda? Koda. Okay, so he's fully upgraded guns. Unfortunately, we're nowhere near the other thing that we needed, which is the full upgrade for him. That's pretty good. So we're probably not going to be strong enough to do the actual big bullshit exploit thing, but you know what? That's fine. Yeah, so Hachimaki twisted. Hachimaki. Hitman. Okay, level ups. Doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. What about Joshua? Nearly. Kyosuke is on stats already. He's on punching. Zengar. What was Zengar? Replace chain attack with the uh, lower attack penalty. Yeah, it was that. Which was going to replace his chain attack. Q 
getting guards so he's invincible, but he's already pretty fucking invincible. And chain attack, he won't need chain attack because when we unlock all of his moves, he'll have the uh, uh, general blaster, which is uh, an all attack. So, uh, yeah. There. Now he does uh, way more damage when he's in the second slot, which he might not always be, but it's bet like it actually might have an effect sometimes compared to his other move, which definitely fucking won't. Gilliam! Gilliam, we were going to get support himself again, right? Yep, so he's nearly there. Ibis, <laughs> who fucking cares? Uh, predict, nearly there. Tsugumi can't learn SP ups yet. Hugo, still piss and bad. Uh, I was going to place chain attack with prevail. Yeah, okay, so where's his chain attack? Level 2, level 1. It's that one. Which is the second one. Yeah, yep, 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 this one. There you go, so he's cool. Still don't know what her robot attacks are like off her, like out of memory. Team is getting buffer. I don't know what we, want, uh, what we wanted to get Raul, if anything. Like, it doesn't really matter what he gets. But I'll probably get him... I don't know, like, guard or some shit. Doesn't, like, it doesn't fucking matter at all. You keep more bullet gun goodness. Carla, more bullet gun goodness. Bullet. Needs more prevail. SP off on that guy, Leona. Nearly got break wheel limit. Excellent. 100% support attack damage, which is 250. There you go. Coda. Guard after more prevail. Energy save. Ah. Uh. Suku is like fully fucking built though. Other than re like replacing his combo attack with something. Oh yeah, replace a uh, combo attack with the break wheel limit. There you go. So good, good, good. And uh, Rim like didn't do shit at that stage, so it's not really a problem. Oh, okay, that's. Uh Let's put these idiots in the right places again. Suku in that. Bullet in that. There we go. How many are you allowed? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine. We deploy in nine because these two don't count, so we're good and set. And Hugo can just fucking jerk off on his own. Who cares? Hugo sucks. I care not for that man. We could regular up Hugo. Regular up Hugo? What the fuck am I even talking about? We could uh, regular mode bullet and put him with this guy. Because bullet isn't bad at shooting. Uh, and then this guy could hang out with this guy. Why not? 
Why not? Can't do that, but he can do that, which is fine. He's only missing out on 600 damage, and this guy does all of the damage anyway because his weapons are fully upgraded. Yeah, alright, let's uh, switch frame to uh, normal. frame to cannon. Let's try that. It's really slow as cannon, right? No, it's fine because he's got infight. Uh, he has literally no moves which benefit from his infight. But the all attack is good range. Normal. Two to nine, three to ten. Okay, so like compatible. One to five, one to compatible. He's also got that, which is compatible. Uh, he does, he's got these two, which he can use for these two attacks. Uh, yeah, no, that's, this is like this is a reasonable combo. It's not brilliant, but it'll do. It'll do until you can get Bullet to piss off into his own goddamn. Piece of shit garbage robot from hell. He finally gets the tiger back. Okay, this is the wind of fate. And what's the SR point here in the strat? Wind of fate. Defeat every enemy except Ventus, uh, Glaces, and Umbra. Don't have to do Alberta or anybody else. Let's get rid to the goal point. Enemy phase Umbra moves out of the circle to blow us up. Okay, okay. Uh, let's give her. Let's give Rim uh, something to make her better at fighting. Or at least more able to dodge and live. Yeah, we'll give her that. Because she's got to do a duel with somebody. Yeah, uh, that'll do. That'll, that'll, that'll do. For every enemy is Ventus, Grakis, and Umbra. Okay, uh, his unit, the Earth Federation is locked in battle with the Ruiner, and the Air Christmas is broken through to the magnetic pole uh, while using uh, us as a decoy. Uh, Sean's worried about this becoming a three way fight, uh, but uh, Lafina goes, even Lee wouldn't be that stupid to turn on us in this situation. So. It, will be good. So off we go to the North Pole, the magnetic North Pole. Scenario 36, the Wind of Fate. Oh, and we're fighting Ventus, who's the General of Wind, makes you think. Uh, the Air Christmas has been bombarding uh, like the barrier around the summoning circle, but can't get through it. Uh, Igreda and the Medius Locus, uh, as well as the Kerbal Lions, also can't do it. Uh, this is Puppy, this is Shio, this is Shien, she's a fucking asshole, <laughs> and uh, then there's the Shien, the boy one. Uh, but they're all trying their hardest, but it ain't happening so far. <laughs> Time left, we totally get him. No, he wants to be a good guy, he wants to be a good guy now. Here's Umbra and everybody in the circle. Uh, they're like, aha, they can't break through this. This is uh, coming directly from our Lord of Destruction. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Uh, LD suggests to Albero that destroying a dimensional barrier with conventional weapons is uh, an exercise in futility. 
but we can't really run away at this point, though. Uh, Glacius then goes, but uh, what is it? Glacius is like, I, I sense uh, that human is coming. And I was like, oh, you can detect them from this far from inside the Septembrum? He's like, yeah, that's pretty fucked up when you think about it. And Ventus goes, oh, I got a rumble in my tumbly too. What's going on? Here you Kai incoming. Bop, 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 bop. Here we are. We made it. Josh and uh, Glacier's eyes turn white again, and uh, it's like, shouldn't the September be blocking our thoughts? And then Rim's like, what the heck, why is my robot acting up now? And uh, Chris internally is like, I feel real bad, Liana, I don't feel so good. It's like, hey Lee, how you doing? I've heard about you unable to get through things. He's like, please excel in. Please. Hugo and Aqua see the uh, me Medius Locus and they're like, uh. We fought each other before so uh, they could get data and, like, when they attacked us, they must have been because they wanted real data. Uh, and uh, it wouldn't have been a problem if uh, we'd fucking died. Why were we sent to the Steel Dragon Alliance anyway? And then Albero says to Elvi, uh, he's like, I think the kids have figured out what's going on. I think uh, those two kids have figured out what's going on. And then Elvi's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. We've got justice on our side after all. And Albero's like, mm, you know what? <laughs> Disagreed. Uh, Lee announces that uh, they're retreating. Uh, Shien, the boy dog, is hella pissed off. And so is Lady Dog, Shien. Uh, and then Albert's like, hey, you two fuckers, follow orders. And he said, uh, like, oh, but we don't always like, you just do it. Uh, LD's like, oh, yeah, and I guess this way uh, we won't have to fight Hugo. Is that why we're doing this, Albero? And he's like, hmm, you can think whatever you want. And then uh, Lee's like, we'll leave that stupid barrier to the Hiryukai. Everybody out. And then the Medius Locus turns and looks at Hugo and Aqua and we're like, Bruh, it's looking right at us! What's the fuck's with that? This fucking evil look from this shitty robot. So the Ruiner dudes have made a barrier. Yuki points out that unlike the other barriers, we can see through this one. Like, the, all the others are just thick black smoke, and like, you can't see or communicate through, so maybe this one's easier to break. Nezuzuka's like, it's spooky magic! I don't like it! Uh, Joshua uh, can feel Glacier's thoughts through the barrier, so it's obviously not blocking everything, and light's coming through, because we can see inside. Uh, if we can get Joss closer, we might be able to figure out something, but it's risky. Uh, but we don't need a hint because we're pretty smart. Yeah, <laughs> if we got your back, Joshy. Uh, that's what uh, excellent calls him, uh, Joshy, a lot like Joshy Chan and Joshy Boy a lot. And uh, Joshy, Japanese girl, but his name's Josh, so it's. Uh, Super kiddifying him to the point that he is a little girl. Because excellence fucked up sometimes when you think about it. I think she just calls him that because it's cute. Because little girls are cuter than boys. Uh, okay. Uh, Josh tells Rim to defend from the back line. If I robot's I can do up, but she doesn't respond. And he's like, "Yo, Rim, is there something up with sympathia?" He's like, "No, no, it's nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it." And then Chris, uh, internally, the other Rim personality, says, uh, Maybe uh, we're feeling this way because of one of the robots inside the thing. 
and then uh, Liana thinks to herself that, uh, well, I guess we'll just have to get closer to. And then uh, they send out some nerds, but the mission is we've got to get Rim to that point, I believe. Let's have a look, let's have a look. SR point is defeat every enemy except the other guys within four turns. So, uh, let's do that then, I guess. Uh, you can land. See, and they, now they start defending each other, which is piss, but it's not such a problem when Ratzel can support himself and do cool moves. I've had go through the ooh, Kaiba boy! But Joshi Chan. Uh, they're, they're like, our strength is endless or whatever, but it, they fucking die, it doesn't matter. Who cares? They're garbage. And because we take the other one and the middle one defended, he then cannot defend these because he's only got support defense level one. So, eat shit, bad dudes. Equalize their stats because Carla's stats are not as good as Yuki's. Rather not waste a lot of our bullshit. But we can kill those guys on the counter attack turn anyway. He's got uh, SP regen, so it's more efficient to do it on him than Ibis. But I will do Invincible on Ibis just in case she gets shot because she sucks. Counter. Just can get that one, I guess. And Rim's just gonna go really fast. Because we gave her the horror. Well, it's the high spec CPU in this game, because it's not allowed horror. And Rim's got two personalities, there's the aggressive one, Liana, and the shy one, Chris. And I believe the Chris is generally thought of as male, but I'm not sure as how accurate that is as to anything. I 
like I'm pretty sure it's bullshit. But who knows? And they go by Rim, which is the start of their surname, Rim Skyer. And they go by the first name, Kliana, which is Chris and Liana combined. Guys, I mean, can't you just do your regular guns instead of wasting the big bullshit? Hi, Spammy, how you doing? We're fighting nerds in the North Pole, and it sucks, as as usual. On the second turn, uh, the Blanche Daisy system start going a little bit more out of control, and the old white eyes. It's like, hey, what's up? It's like, uh, feeling something a little bit different from before. Oh, we. Room starts freaking out, and Josh is like, whoa, I'm getting some noise over the sympathia too, but it, it's definitely different. Ugh, ah! And Ventus is also now going to have problems, and uh, he's mostly just going, uh, "What the? F what's happening? What? What is this? Huh? Huh? Bah? And then uh, Rim yells uh, in her mind, uh, "Not to t like, don't touch me!" And then uh, Ventus is like, "Oh, what's this? I I've learned their names." And he learns, uh, r uh, Liana and. Chris, okay, their names, there's two of them, and uh, d -d 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 Chris still freaking the fuck out, and it's like, this is, must be the same bullshit as what happens to Josh, and uh, Rim's then like, bro, what the fuck's going on? And now, uh, yeah, more like calling for Rihanna, what's going on? And now Ventus's robot's having a bad time too. Umbra's like, oh, you got problems too? He's like, yeah, just something. Uh, Glacius is like, oh, is it that boy? And then Ventus is like, no, no, it's definitely not a boy. And then he said, uh, and then he says, uh, he mentions the girls he's suddenly been linked with, and uh, Josh hears it. Uh, and then he's like, yo, Glacius, what the fuck is going on? And she's like, oh, it seems even easier for our minds to meld at the moment. This is awful. And then uh, Ventus thinks to Rim that he's got no idea what's going on, but... Uh, uh, but he, and then he says, uh, we, they, uh, shouldn't, uh, cannot be afraid and uh, mustn't hate, because that's what the Lord of Destruction uh, desires. And then he mentions Lord of Destruction, and then, uh, what does Umbra say? Umbra's like, yo, Ventus, you're not concentrating, the Septembrum's, the Septembrum's power's going down a little bit. Concentrate on uh, maintaining the Atrium exterior, that's why you were born after all. And then, eyes back to normal. It's like, whoa, he moved away. Uh... It's like, so, uh, Joshua, 
talk to Glacies, what the fuck's going on, huh? And then uh, Joshua explains to the team that the uh, other Mer uh, Merioless uh, felt different from uh, Glacies somehow. Uh, Cliff says we just detected a wavering in the, the barrier, probably related to the idiots talking through the Sympathia. And then it's like, maybe we just need to get Rim to go up there instead of Josh to break through. And Rim's like, I think we're ready for this. And then Rim's like, bro, we can fucking do this, don't worry. Uh, Umbra is worried about uh, further dialogues uh, with the humans being dangerous and decides to come out and, and uh, give us the bopper himself. Uh, he tells Glacius to stay and uh, it's like, as the only one who's not being affected by all of this nonsense, it's uh, up to me. And uh, Umbra suspects that the system is not on our end but on the other side's system's end. Uh, Ventus then opens it just enough to let Umbra out. Umbra is all like, then hello humans! Uh, and introduces themselves as the Meriel, uh, Melior Esse of Shadow. Uh, the Dark Shadow that calls forth to death. And it's like, whoa! This one doesn't even look remotely human. And Ivis is like, I don't even know if it's a male or female, and Suku goes, uh, I think it might be a lady? <laughs> like, that better not be a crack at me. Uh, Umbra then says, uh, that the Atrium exterior will overflow the planet with negative emotion, and the Lord of Destruction will come. Uh, Katina goes, Atrium? What the heck's the Atrium? And Umbra says it's the dimensional barrier. Uh, Rim then says, Bro, I remember hearing that voice like, yeah, we heard that voice uh, the South Pole incident. Now we got to get Rim to there. Okay, so who's got... They won't be able to go again. So I gotta do like. That. That. <laughs> Tyler says, It's a lady. Well, hello, three item bandaged single. <laughs> <laughs> Spammy says, because he's not saying Lord and Destruction in any order, they're not cool enough to even be accidentally connected with Gaio. Especially because the Lord of Destruction is just someone's fucking dad. And he just is <laughs> garbage, he sucks. Uh, you know what? Does Kyosuke have the good one or the not good one? Does he have Go Again or... Or crit. Yeah, he does have continuous attack. So we can come over here, hopefully, and slap a nerd right in their stupid face. This might be a good one. Like, Liana, Liana definitely seems to be the more masculine of the two. Like, she uses the term uh, anarchy. Which is what Simon calls Kamina. It's that sort of thing, that sort of bro. But. Well, I want to kill this fucker. Because. Because uh, otherwise they're going to get attacked and. Zengar's not going to be able to help. Yeah, he was close though. Okay, so if these guys get a kill...
They can go again and they can get stuck in there too. Well, I guess she only got four for the kill instead of five. That's fucked up. Uh, so I guess... So I guess she got one for hitting them and then three for the kill. Instead of five for the kill, like it is in the other games. That's why the normal mode dispense is fucking incredible. So good. Bullet shouldn't have the fucking aerial on it though. For sure. Being the sack of fucking garbage that he is and not a commander. Nice work, Yuki. It's frickin' there, I love that guy. Yeah, she doesn't have hit, no, I didn't think so. Don't be shit, she can go places though. Fainting spell this afternoon, so I couldn't do the freaking charity thing with the canor. But I'm feeling much spicier now. Okay, now I do like wanting to be able to attack somebody. Let's go there. Gilliam actually using the fucking things on the Gespence as you're supposed to. They're three friggin' swords, and people are just like, nah, just leave them in and charge them up so you can hit people with the handles. It's good, actually. Okay, then we'll just all attack the guys that Zengar cannot also attack. But anyone he can. Yeah, that's the way I thought it was going. If he thinks he can... Yeah, he can. It's Kyosuke letting everybody down. Let's do the big move for Liana because you haven't seen it. Oh 
something like says the handle's the most dangerous part of the sword. That's the sort of shit Zengar would say. Because without a handle, how can you friggin' grip it to slap someone with it? Nova. It's a big gun. Someone's actually going to hit us with the mace. It's going to bounce off the shield though. Josuke, you need to actually kill the bees. Finally, he can kill a bee. Oh, look at this shit! Moving one step away to attack Zengar again. Yeah, that's right. I think I wouldn't fucking notice. Looks like they had a fucking video feed of Jinrai pulling this shit. Shit again. Recognizing uh, the voice from the other pole. Okay, so. Everyone's feeling super good, except Excellent for some reason. And you can call a support attack. Feeling good? The laziest fucking missile. And we'll go here. Okay, she's got go again. Actually, like, use our shittiest garbage move, but that's fine. It's the only one that can reach. SR point did it. Whopped him. And I was to save moving her if we could just do some good shit. Give 
have any soup. Good. She does. And then goes just like general of darkness. Eat shit. That move, the the little translation of uh, the move Zen guy just did, where he jumps really high up in the air, is like the Skyhawk cut or cloud attack. It's just like I'm just got, I've got a sword and I'm going into the clouds, and you're fucked. I'm gonna give you the the old sword slapper. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just stop. Yeah, there's two people doing with a move. Was uh, only two K more powerful than Zengo, just uh, jumping up really high in the air. He's pretty fucking good if you think about it. And I do. Uh, okay, and now we get to do this one, where we go over here, and then we can maximum break with Excellent and her. So we'll swap them around again, so Excellent can be in the front. Break again. The big move. The big move. Yeah, the big move. Yeah, so when he says that extra 2k damage came from putting the power of love into playing ping pong with the bosses of the wall. Yeah. Imagine if Zengar had put the power of love in with uh, Ratzel. Seven thousand chip damage, not bad. The Senshiki Shishioto, which is like Lion Soul Sword or whatever. And whenever it pops, what, like when it pops stuff up on the screen, it's just the name of the like the attack. Uh, but there's a guy coming up who has the thing pop up on the screen and when it pops up on the screen I have been told it actually pops up fuck your opinion it's, a bit, it's apparently like the strongest way you can say I don't care what you think in Japanese it pops up instead
Probably could have got the kill on Umbra if, like, if, like. But it's fine. Like while we bop him and while he's distracted, Rim rushes to the point. Ventus is like, Ugh! Bleh! Rim's like, okay, let's brace for the sympathy uh, this uh, reaction. Bleh! Liana. Ventus also having a bad time. Uh, Ventus uh, tells them that their machine and its systems are connected to them, and uh, their consciousness, their consciousnesses are being forced together. Um, but it's uh, going to drive them insane, and they start going ah, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, the Blanche Nage, Snow White, starts floating into the Septembrum. It's like, they're going into the thing! Uh, Ventus is powerless to stop whatever uh, is happening. Liana! They're gonna get sucked in! Can't stop it! Suddenly. We're in space. Uh, Rim goes, what the fuck did you do? And uh, Ventus says, it was all of us, we all did this. Uh, whatever power was uh, drawing us together uh, pulled Rim into the Septembrum and Ventus opened the atrium exterior for her. Like, well, why the fuck did you do that? Where's my brother? Where's my bro? And Ventus says, uh, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, he then attempts to figure it out. He says, uh, Rim was the first one uh, to touch that sympathy system. And then uh, Rim suddenly had two spirits uh, in her body. And then uh, Rim's like, that's fucking bullshit. Both these spirits are the real Rim. And then Ventus goes, ah, I get it. I see why you were calling to me. And then uh, he says, uh, he doesn't know why the consciousnesses, the consciousnesses were melding, but he's figured the rest out. And uh, then Rim says, uh, don't you fucking say it, don't you fucking say it. And now we got to fight. attack says my translation is pretty accurate and it's not mine it's other people's and I'm just mashing two of them together to see if I can get the true story yeah, thank you and also with a freaking name like ice attacker we got ourselves the super robot expert over here
And now we've got to knock uh, Ventus's robot, which is the Studium, down to 30k. It's Studium then. Studium is like a cord or politeness, uh, which makes sense when we discover Ventus's role. Ventus asks, uh, what, a lot, what, and why? Like there's like, uh. Why do you feel this way? Why? Blah blah blah. Bam 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 bam. Luckily, we've got like fucking infinite PP for this bit because she's got her ace bonus and I bought some SP shit, so she's good. Quintus. Turn Euro into a bird, real original. I fucking know, right? Apparently, we'll get an explanation for that in uh, three two about robots and birds. I like the little head that pops out. It says this little bird face pop out. It's like, you don't need that, pal, it's fine. And we'll just uh, keep slamming the big move into him. Oh, she did get hit, though. Running out of juice too. Anyway, we did it. Uh, Rim's gonna move in for the kill, but unfortunately, <laughs> Sympathia starts uh, up again, and uh, both machines start resonating, and disappear again. Ah! Ah! Mostly just screaming. This time, however, uh, they appear over Earth, and they're like, "Wait, wait, wait! We can see it. We can, we can see the Earth, though. This time, so that means the barrier's gone." And here's the hug, eh? Uh, it's like, oh, hey, and here's Ada. Wow, uh, found them. <laughs> Let's uh, pick them up. Sure, then maybe we can find out what the fuck is going on. Yun, Ada, and whatever the other one's called. The girl who likes singing and cats who's new. I.e. something. Okay, uh, Kai explains, uh,. They were blown outside the dimensional barrier into space. Uh, they then attacked by the Gaia Sabers, and then they fought against the guests. Uh, who had uh, begun the invasion of the moon. Uh, at the moment, uh, the Earth's uh, space forces and the guests are locked in combat. Uh, some Ruiner appeared in space as well and managed to capture Heaven's Gate. Uh, but then the guests attacked Heaven's Gates, and the Merioles is there, retreated towards Earth. Uh, the Hugane then followed them, and as the they were fighting right above the North Pole in space. The thing happened. And then uh, Rim explains how we were on Earth, uh, we did some bullshit, it doesn't fucking matter, the Okijin, blah blah blah. 
And then uh, when she starts to think about Ventus, she locks up. And, uh... No, like, maybe you, you should go to the medical bay. Uh, Kai then guesses that the link between Rim and Ventus somehow got rid of the dimensional barrier, but uh, Naya's like, that seems a little bit far-fetched, just something like that would take it down. And like, well, it must have been Ventus rather than Rim then, uh, that opened the door, and the key is Blanche Nage and Rim or something? Just guessing. And then it's like, well, the Sympathia system's definitely got something that Ruiner don't, uh, haven't accounted for, so Josh and Rim uh, might have something too. And then the Hiryu Kai uh, sends him a message and they're like, hey, let's uh, regroup on Earth and have a good time. Kona gets to meet up with everybody else. Uh, they mention that Axel and Alfimi joined the Hagane for uh, a little bit. Uh, Alfimi is off sleeping at the moment, but Axel uh, just left the Hagane by himself as soon as we got to Earth without even saying hi. And Nixon's like, wow, that, that guy, so shy. Uh, apparently he went to the Kuragane because that's where the soul gain is. Uh, Toma recognizes Arado as uh, the person who bought uh, the Yakisoba in Asakusa in Gaiden. And he introduces himself as a part-timer for the l &E Corporation, which is uh, the Excellence crew. Uh, Fiona says that he's helping out with uh, maintenance on the Excellence Rescue, and that he's uh, he, ha he has a unique part-time experience, which has made him very good at it. And he's great at cleaning, too! Ibis introduces Irui, um, saying, is this little girl I kidnapped, I guess? She's lost her memory. And then Inga's like, hmm... I have also lost my memory. And then Inga and Iri look at each other, and they have a moment. And it's like, well, what's that? Do you remember him? And it's like, huh? And uh, Inga's like, what the hell happened there? And then Excellent goes, ah, love at first sight! And you're like, probably not. Um, we then explain the, the Jinrai Ninja stuff, and uh, Presser Tomine and all that, and they explain the Guy Saber stuff, and we explain the air Christmas and they left and the robot looked at us and it was spooky and uh, some Earth Federation dudes we've saved them and then they've not attacked us and they're being nice to us. Uh, Tuni and Ar Arado uh, are, don't like the mention of the Kerbal Lions and uh, they, uh, everybody explains the Medius Locust being with the Gaia Sabres. Uh, here's Marion from uh, Mao Industries, and apparently Rada's come. Yeah, there's Rada. Uh, they've come with the Hagane too, and uh, they yeah they left Mao Industries on the moon because it sucked. Uh, they predicted the guest attack on their location and got everything out of there. So wow, problems never end. Uh, the Hagane fought against the uh, Oles Geist, which is uh, Arrow's brother's robot, and the Galinagant Code Evil, uh, which uh, went after Ing again, which is uh, Mara's one that destroyed all the Huckabeans. Uh, the Ollie's Geist's core started acting up when the uh, person, the kite, uh, was around. Like, I've butchered that, but that's our Fimmy's robot. And the Flicker Eye Geist's got a new gun, too. Uh, in the worst case scenario, the uh, Ollie's Geist might just turn into a jet uh, genetically engineered Einst itself. Uh, Rim explains the deal with Ventus to Josh and Cliff. Cliff has no fucking idea. Because I guess he's never had a brain thing done. Uh, he says that Josh touched it and uh, their father, uh, Ferio, Felio, uh, touched it too. So why didn't they have a personality split? Uh, and then uh, Rim has the a big deal. It's like, which one of us is the real me? And then Josh says, it don't matter. You're both my family. Lafina tells Tetsuya about... Uh, Lee and his bullshit name change and everything else to Tetsuya, and Tetsuya is like, I fucking hate that dude. He killed the coolest dude of all time. Um, and uh, they explain how he's got a machine child in his compliment. Uh, Ariel doesn't know anything about an Igreta. Uh, 
uh, no, he doesn't. Okay, doesn't know about an egret, but she knows that Egretta is the leader of the Alpha Sabers, and uh, the Alpha Sabers are surrounded in mystery. Uh, Lafina explains that they're operating independently uh, on Jacob Morb's orders. There's in us there, as in us, like Jacob has told us to do this. Um, but we need to get somewhere a little bit quieter so we can repair and resupply. And uh, Ratsu says, hey, what about Itty Itty Island? I mean, I've got another secret base there, it's pretty good. And then down at the South Pole. Uh, Ignis goes, what the f heck happened to the atrium exterior, the frickin' barrier? And Umbra's like, I don't know, I don't know why two of the Mariolesses can link with humans, this is Contagio, he sucks. Uh, like, said and Glaces aside, uh, Ignis is like, it's fucking Ventus' fault, he's a pile of shit. He fucked up the plan and he sucks. And Ventus is like, I don't really have any excuses, really. I don't know what happened either. And then Umbra said, don't blame uh, Ventus Ignis, you stupid Naruto looking ass motherfucker, get out of here. Uh, we don't have the power to put up another atrium exterior, unfortunately, because uh, that would delay the Lord of Destruction's awakening. And uh, it might get busted down anyway, so it'd be a big old waste of time. Uh, Contagio suggests that the best course of action would be to construct uh, uh, an, ofi an officinus, which is Latin for workshop. And so he's basically saying we need to set up a factory here on Earth. Uh, so we can build up our forces. Ignis and Contagio uh, go, yeah, we found this really good place to do that. Uh, but then Ventus fucked it. I think they're talking about the Moon Cradle. And then Umbra says, uh, forget about space. They need to take out the El Chevalier and the Blanche Nage. And Ignis goes, uh, yo, Glacius, fucking do it, jerk. Okay, Studium is Ventus's mech, and it uh, can mean zeal uh, or pursuit. Uh, Umbra's mech, the Priscus Nox, is, uh, stands for Ancient Knight, and uh, Rada comes with uh, another uh, dispensed, and she's got the cannon, and it's white, and it's cool. Okay, what did we get? We got some more cool armor, another energy thing that no one cares about, sure. And who's got the new thing here? Rada? Good. Do we have any more threes? No. Any others? No. But Rada is really fucking good. Not at fighting. She's bad. But as a support character, she's incredible. She's so fucking good. So we need to find her a better ride. Uh, but now we got a see what we can do about this guy. Oh, well, we don't need that that much. The excellence needs to be able to take a punch. This stage two. Okay, and then XP wise these guys didn't get anything, thanks game. Joshi baby. Kyosuke is already on the good times. Zengar is also on good times now, I believe. That's always always on good times. Bullet. Still no. Uh, these clowns. Might get them guard. Might get them prevail. Like, they're pretty tanky. They're not super tanky, but they're pretty tanky. And like, they're the defender guys. And uh, they've got the barrier. We'll give them guard. Uh, no, it takes a while to kick in, but it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Let's give them prevail. Fuck it. Gilliam's having a good time, and uh, can get support himself, I believe that's support himself, let's see what Ratzel's got. 
Natsul has support himself, yep, so that's support himself. When you have 20 more skill, you do the bullshit, okay, and then we'll up his skill, so you can do that. Ibis... Nearly there, lady. Oh, Tsuku, yeah, break call, isn't it? He's nearly there, he's nearly fucking there, Russell. More SP for that, Stink Lord. Yuki. Carla. Iona, nearly there. Excellent, not so nearly there, but, you know, one day. Rada. Rada is all about the... her cool spell list, so... I'm pretty sure we want her to get that. The cheaper spells, she's got regen. So I'm pretty sure if we just get her the answer support defense level 3, so you get her that. And then. SP up, probably. Or predict or something. Uh, we get her that, so she can have a little bit of a jump start, and then probably just SP ups, so she can cast her spells for fucking ever, because they're all really good. Kasua, nearly there. Rim. Hugo still sucks. Ack was getting a lot of fucking juice. Oh yeah, he wants an energy save, so he can exist in big boy mode. My, what do we want to get my? Break will limit, yeah. Also same for Villetta. Um, also same. King, you're a, a, a stupid jerk. Here's Kai having a good time. Kai needs more combo attack. So he can do the, the cool thing. Amia. No, we're definitely gonna get Rada to do the freaking yoga. What do, does Lamia want anything? Other than maybe to be put in the Vice Saga already? Wait, go on a Rado, who even fucking knows who that boy's got problems? since Yola wants to predict, probably. So she can exist in this fucked up world. Nearly there. No. No. Yes. Okay, so, uh... Got some bullshit to shuffle around. Such as, uh, Ryoto in here instead of this idiot. We'll put in the blue one because I think the blue one is going to be more upgraded. Four, 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 two, five. And I believe her current ride is yeah is clear, so she wants the blue one. That sucks.
Okay, and then like it doesn't really matter what we do from here. Russell just on his own, not even a fucking robot. Oh, Rio needs to be put in something else, right? Because the AM gunner is actual garbage. Uh, the Ash Shaver. The Toonie goes in the little thing. Actually, you know what? Where's Rada gone? Uh, Rada in the Wild Raptor. Like, why not, right? And then Russell can have his stupid garbage trash back. Take the thing off of her, because she doesn't need that. Okay, now I gotta reorganize these shit fucking ass teams. Uh, it was Ciola and Excellent. This guy. This guy. This combo is too fucking good. This combo is really good. So I want Arado with somebody cool. Uh, he can hang out with Kai? Yeah, why not, right? I was thinking of putting Kai in the Grungus. Because it's good. Um, can get in the dispensed. That's a pretty good combo, all things considered. He just needs a thing to make him go faster. give him a plus movement thing, he can hang out with this guy, because they're sick bros. But, I don't know. Ariel and Arado could work. Ariel and Arado could work. Thing with the plus movement in this guy. I had uh, that and that, didn't I? And then Ryusei. Where's that idiot? Where's Ryusei? There he is, and I had Ryusei. And 
that as a combo. Hmm. Like that. Yeah, that's a, that's an alright combo. They've, yeah, right, that's what uh, I had. So I just need uh, the Grungus Type Three with Tsuku is uh, Leodo. She's got the A adapter, yeah, so she's all right. Like, I would prefer another combo guy with her. That would be like a Rado, I guess, would be the other combo guy. And he doesn't really have the range to work with the... The big gun. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so she needs... Uh and on the ground part. Give the A adapter, that's fine. Rather instead of uh, Ryodo, could do. I think uh, I want Rada on her own though, because of her twin. Let's uh, crack open the Bible. Yeah, her twin is Hope. Uh, whereas Yodo's is only Violent Assault and he has Zeal, which is the big thing that I want him in there for. So I could just keep doing Zeal, Katina can go again and do more maximum breaks over and over again, as long as they've got the juice for it. But, good idea though. If I have Ariel and Arado, that introduces like a new fucking block of shit I've got to keep track of. Like Kyosuke and Arado and Exelon and Siola next to each other is easy. But I'm already. Uh, but right now I've got to have these guys and these guys and these guys and these guys next to each other. Like, all next to, like, in a block just right for him and her, or her, him and her, him and him. Like, we've got a lot of weird shit going on right now. Like, this is fine, because who fucking cares? He's got, ex like, they're both trash. Like I'm, I guess I'm just going to have to do some twin management in the field to get the really good shit. Because ideally... What did she get? Yeah, she got the UUN, which is good. It's really good. Uh...
Like, when they combine, this gets fucked up. This gets fucked up. Then we've got this, so we can Royal Heartbreaker. Lamia is by herself doing something. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine-ish. He's a little slow. This is fine. This is fine. If I rather had accelerate, this would like I put him with him, and then I've just got to find somewhere for Zengar to go, and I probably do Zengar uh, Ariel. 